The first game week of the Premier League season was eventful. Erling Haaland bagged his first and second Manchester City goal. My team, Liverpool, drew with the newly promoted Fulham. It's not looking good. And Manchester United, despite having a new manager, it's the same old Man United with losing to Brighton. Predictions-wise, I prefer not to speak. When I add up all my points at the end of the season, I don't think it's going to be a lot. But getting into game week two of the Premier League season, hopefully it is a better one. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you do enjoy the video, make sure to give a like. And without wasting any more of your time, let's get into the video. Aston Villa versus Everton. Last week, Aston Villa lost 2-0 to Bournemouth. I predicted them to win 4-0. I'm never going to back Aston Villa ever again. Last season, I said they finished seventh, they end up finishing 14th. I just seem to have terrible luck with Aston Villa. Moving on to Everton, you know, they've had a good week transfer wise. They brought in Connor Cody on loan, very good signing, despite the fact last season he was telling everyone, he was letting everyone know that he was a Liverpool fan. You know what, Connor, we'll forgive you when Everton get relegated. Agent Rafa, 2 point. Oh, they've been linked with Shea Adams on loan, haven't got him in just yet, so Everton really don't have a striker unless they play Rondon. Last season, when Everton travelled to Villa Park, they lost 3 0. I don't think it's going to be that big of a battering, but I do think it's not going to be a very good result. I think Villa will end up winning 2-1 thanks to goals from Ollie Watkins and Leon Bailey and then for Everton I'm going to say Rondon. Now moving on to Leeds versus Southampton. Last week Leeds picked up all three points with a 2-1 win over Wolves while Southampton ended up losing 4-1 to Spurs despite going ahead. I back Gavin Mazzunu and then he goes ahead and concedes four goals. But look Gavin mate, it's not your fault. Your defender's brain cells are made out of cheese. I think he's only going to concede one goal in this game. Messi there will also concede one goal in a one-all draw. For Leeds I reckon Bamford will score the goal while with Southampton I reckon it'll be a first Premier League goal for Aribo. I just to be a little bit more specific with my prediction, I reckon Salasu is going to end up getting sent off. He's just such a random defender. Sometimes he can look very promising. Then he can be passing the ball into his own net versus Spurs. And I reckon he's just going to pick up a stupid red card within the first 45 minutes of the game. Arsenal versus Leicester. Leicester only got a draw in game week one, despite the fact they were 2-0 off. But they ended up losing their lead and got a draw with Brentford. Whilst with Arsenal, they won the first game of the Premier League season 2-0 away at Crystal Palace. Now they are at home. And well, I'm hoping Gabriel Jesus can deliver. How does he sleep at night knowing he disappointed 74.5%? of FPL managers. He played good in the game, don't get me wrong, but that doesn't deliver FPL points. How do you feel being the highest pick player ever and then giving us two points? Saliba looks like a top young centre-back. He's matured a lot and I think he's definitely going to be a top player for Arsenal this year. And then we move to Leicester and it's not looking good, is it? At the time of recording, they're still the only club in Europe's top five leagues not to make a signing. There's a lot of business needed for Leicester in the last couple of weeks of the transfer window and they're going to want to do it fast. Considering the games at the Emirates, I'm going to give Arsenal a win and a comfortable win it will be. I'm going to give Arsenal a 3-1 win with two goals from Gabriel Jesus and I'm going to predict that every Every week until it actually happens, a Martin Odegaard free kick. Said it last week, didn't happen. I'll say it this week, it's gonna happen. And for Leicester, I think Yuri Tielemans will bag against his potential new club. Brighton versus Newcastle. Both teams ended up picking up all three points in the first game week of the Premier League season. Newcastle with a 2 0 win at home versus newly promoted Nottingham Forest. We're only one week into the Premier League season, and Fabian Schär has already ended goal of the season award. He's already taken a what a strike. While with Brighton, they picked up a 2 1 win versus Man United at Old Trafford. Every time Grubb seems to play Man United, he turns into Prime Shavi. Despite both positive starts to the Premier League season, both are going to come to an end. I think it's going to be a draw and the first nil-nil draw I've predicted of the Premier League season, it's going to be here with Brighton versus Newcastle. I'm sorry, I hate to be boring, but if there is over two goals in this game, I'll be absolutely shocked. I don't think there's going to be any. It's going to be a boring, dull, nil-all draw. No need to watch it on match of the day. I said Bournemouth will lose 4-0 last week. That was at home to Aston Villa. What do you think I'm going to say when they're going away to the champions of England? The Bournemouth fans might be optimistic about the chances of staying up after a 2-0 win versus Aston Villa. Then they're going to travel to Man City, play against Erling Haaland, and to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if you see a Bournemouth fan crying. This is just an obvious 5-0 to Man City. Haaland will score his first ever Premier League hat-trick. It's just going to be that easy for him. De Bruyne will get on the score sheet and Bernardo Silva will score his last Man City goal because it looks like he's going to Barcelona. Sorry, Bournemouth fans, but I don't think it's going to be the most enjoyable 3 o'clock kickoff you're ever going to witness. Wolves versus Fulham. It was a very promising game week one for Fulham as they picked up a draw versus Liverpool. While with Wolves, they ended up losing 2-1 to Leeds. Despite the fact Wolves are at home, I do think it's going to be a win for Fulham. A 2-0 win for Fulham. I just think they looked so good last week and that was versus Liverpool. So I think they're going to do even better versus Wolves. Leno and Golds is a very good signing. And in Shane Duffy, they brought in Diop, who I don't necessarily rate, but he is a solid centre back. I'm going to say it's going to be a 2-0 win for Fulham. Mitrovic and Pereira bagging the two goals. And for the first time in a long time, it's looking like Fulham could be comfy in the Premier League. Brentford versus Man United. I think I've mentioned the fact United lost too many times in this video, but it's just not looking good for them. And I think it's going to be a similar story in this game. I said Brentford will get relegated in my Premier League predictions video. Of course, after I post that, they start making very good signings. Mikel Damsgaard, what a signing that is. I think he's going to do fantastic for them. And with this being their first home game of the
of the Premier League season. I think they're going to share the points with Man United in a one all draw with Cristiano Ronaldo bagging for Man United and Ivan Tony bagging for Brentford. And speaking of Cristiano Ronaldo, he's going to be subbed off in the 70th minute while the game is still one all and he's going to absolutely lose it in typical Ronaldo fashion. Nottingham Forest versus West Ham. This is definitely a game I'm going to be watching. First Premier League home game of the season for Nottingham Forest. The city grounds will be absolutely buzzing. Just to be a little bit cheeky, I'm going to say Jesse Lingard is going to score just because it would be funny, wouldn't it, for him to do his signature celebration versus the team he claimed to love so much. And I think Forest will end up picking up a 2-0 win purely because I think the city ground is going to be absolutely rocking. The atmosphere is going to be electric. I rate West Ham. I think they're going to have a very good season, but it's going to be a tough thing to deal with. I'm back with yet another random prediction. Brennan Johnson will score an absolute worldie and do the best in East side of game week two. Chelsea versus Spurs. And this fixture always brings out a bit of excitement. We go back to the Battle of Bridge in 2015 where Leicester won the Premier League. Definitely up there as one of the best Premier League games ever. I love that match so much. Not because Leicester had just won the Premier League. Well, yeah, because Leicester had just won the Premier League. It was some achievement. But, like, it had everything you'd want from a football match. It had brilliant goals, late drama. There was fights. It was just so entertaining. And because I'm a nostalgia merchant, I'm going to go for the exact same scoreline of 2 all. Goals from both Jorginho and Ben Chilwell will give Chelsea a 2-0 lead. And then Youngman sum a bag of brace to make it 2 all. Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. Neither team started the Premier League season off in the best of ways. And I think it'll be Liverpool that react the most. Especially considering this is a night kickoff at Anfield. Liverpool fans deserve a response from last week's poor performance. And I think the Liverpool players will end up giving it. And they will give a 4-0 win. A free kick from Trent because he always seems to score free kicks versus Crystal Palace. Then Darwin Nunes is going to bag a brace. And then Mo Salah is going to bag a typical Mo Salah goal. He's going to cut inside and the ball is going to fly into the top corner. Giving Liverpool the fourth and the final goal. So that was my Game Week 2 Premier League predictions. Let me know in the comments how many you think I'm going to get wrong. Probably every single one of them. Thank you all so much for watching. It means a lot. Make sure to like the video. You might as well if you've got this. First. Hopefully next week's Premier League predictions I've at least gotten one right for the Game Week 2. Probably not though. Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next one.